OK, the torso went out of range quite quickly. How come? The river flows both ways when the tide's coming in. What about the others? Scattered along the mudflats. And sandbanks way past our beach. A strong current swept them miles further on. He put them there. OK. I play detective... I think I'm a detective inspector, I think. So I love that. Detective Inspector Costello, who is basically like... Um, uh, Louise Lombard plays K. Rousseau, she's the governor, she's the ultimate boss, and I'm sort of a, a number one, you know, I'm like a, you know, I'm always by her side, you know, so I'm sort of the strength of the police force, I'm the power, I'm the, the one that tries to keep everybody grounded, you know. Um, a sort of copper that, um, you know, used to work in sex crimes and, and, you know, has dealt with some pretty horrific things. Um, and has, has dealt with a lot of women as well, you know, he's quite good with women, even though he hasn't got, he hasn't got a wife or girlfriend in it, he, he deals with women that have been raped and things like that, so he's quite a sensitive soul, although he's quite a powerful character. You worked with Russo before, didn't you? Sex crimes. Is she religious? That thing she did by the river? It's, it's just her way, you know? Mm. But you knew when all that stuff was kicking off? She shouldn't have gone through any of that. There's no better cop. You're in love with her or something. I've got nothing but admiration for Kay. You know, she's the... She's the... And she's beautiful as well, obviously. You know, I'm being a red-blooded male. So there's a little bit of, you know, that sort of doughy-eyed look going on. The Commissioner's involvement? Well, he... He asked me to be a second opinion for your daughter's inquest. Your brief, he, he declined my help, but by then I'd already been sent your file. I, I assumed you knew. I didn't. I'm, I'm sorry. Whatever you read, whatever you deduced, whatever you think, you know you don't. It's been done. It's over. Right. She is complicated, and it is um, a very fragile balance between how this woman holds herself as a leader within the workplace and um, without being consumed by her emotional demons. Um, and that's, that's always in the balance. And, and, and so, so there is a vulnerability, but it's at times very <clears throat> determinedly sort of held down. Why didn't I know about her drink problem? Sister. I rely on you to tell me what's important. Which is what I do. She lives for the job. Her FBI references were second to none. I headhunted her. And then you checked her out. You frisked her life, because that's what you do. And anything you found or suspected, you decided not to tell me. Hearsay from jealous feds didn't seem that helpful. Or maybe you forgot who's running this team. There are times when her judgment is uh, flawed because of her history. But, I mean, that's the tone of this show, which is really, really a, one, you know, a wonderful thing. It's, it's, you know, these aren't kind of cool people kind of going, hmm, what do we think? It, they're hot-blooded, you know, sort of savage. Um, you know, the energy is, is uh, you know, against, in this particular storyline, they're trying to find a victim who's, st who's still alive, and, and, and they want to find her that way. So there is always this clock ticking and this, this pressure of, uh, you know, sort of, the stakes are high.